everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Laura. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to do another super easy, delicious recipe video for you guys today. We are going to make jalapeno popper meatloaf. A family friend of mine sent me this recipe, so I'm not sure who to give credit to, but it was not my own, but it is super delicious. We tried it for the first time last week. My daughter absolutely loved it and has been begging me to make it again <laughs> ever since she tasted it. So I'm going to do one today, which will probably be gone by tomorrow. So let's just jump right into the ingredients and get started. All right, guys, let's get to the ingredients. We're going to need a pound and a half of ground hamburger beef, two jalapenos seeded and diced, a half a cup of bacon, about four slices. I diced mine up after they're cooked. Or you can cook it partially so the rest of it can bake while you're making the meatloaf. I just like my stuff crispy, so I just went ahead and cooked it all the way. Two eggs, one eight ounce cream cheese softened, a cup of cheddar cheese, five tablespoons of low carb ketchup, now for the seasonings, I just do a tablespoon of each. You can do minced garlic or you can do the garlic powder. I do both most of the time. But for the rest of the seasonings, I do Italian, pink salt, black pepper. Do it to whatever your taste buds are. I like my stuff really seasoned well, so I do at least a tablespoon of each. The um, pork rinds, as you can see, I buy the bag. I beat them up myself <laughs> and I put them in a container and I store that in the pantry. You need a half a cup of pork rinds and about a fourth of a cup of onion. I love onion, so I will probably do more like half a cup, but to each their own. And again, there's all the ingredients you're gonna need for this lovely jalapeno meatloaf. It's super delish. Okay, so to make things a little easier, I went ahead and combined a lot of the seasonings already together in one little area instead of having to measure everything out for you guys. So this will be a quick and simple video. So first off, I took a pound and a half to two pounds of meat. I didn't measure out, so I'm, I'm assuming I've got about a pound and a half, maybe a little more. And I am going to just go in with my hands. It just makes it so much easier just to put everything in with your hands. So all my seasonings, cheese, the breadcrumbs, which is pork rinds, eat up, two eggs, and I know the recipe calls for a fourth, but like I said earlier, I'm going to probably do a little more onion than a fourth, because we like onion in this household. All right, so we're just going to mix all this together, incorporate it really well into the meat, Get it all mixed up, and then we are going to start layering. I have also preheated my oven. Actually, it's going right now to 375, and we're going to let that get ready and good and warmed up, and this will take no time at all. Now, you can actually put more cheese in it if you like. You can add other seasonings if you like. I just did a cup, maybe a little more than a cup, but you can definitely add more cheese. All right, so here is our mixed up meat mixture. So what we're gonna do next is get your meatloaf pan out. Now, mine has this little trivet thing that goes in the bottom to hold your meatloaf up off of the bottom so the grease, you're still gonna get some grease, but not as much. I got this years ago off of QVC from um, Temptations. I love, love Temptations. So I'm gonna take half of the meatloaf mixture and put it down on the bottom of the meatloaf pan like so then we're going to start layering the jalapenos the bacon and the cream cheese so let's start off with our cream cheese just going to put it in there and we are going to start a thin layer on top of the meat. Okay. 
Okay. Do you guys see it? Just a thin little layer on top of the meatloaf. Then I'm gonna add my bacon. And you can definitely do more bacon if you like. I did four, four slices and just chopped them up. And then two of your jalapenos. Same with that, if you want a spicier kick, you can actually leave the seeds in. I don't recommend it because that's a little too spicy, I think. Then we're gonna add the rest of our meat on top of the layers. All right. Now at this point, get all that in there and leveled out. We're gonna add our sugar-free ketchup on top of the meatloaf. Now the recipe calls for five tablespoons. I'm not really gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna put my ketchup on top. And I'm going to spread that around. All you ketchup fans can definitely do more. I've just never been a huge ketchup fan, but it calls for it, we did it, and it tastes delish. All right, there we go. Okay, we're gonna pop this into a 375 oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. After that's done, we're gonna taste test and see what it's like. Be right back. All right, let's get this into the oven. There we go. Okay guys, it's been an hour, so let's check it and see if it is done. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good to me. Ooh. All right, here we go. Yeah, you can hear the sizzling, the grease inside of the bottom there. I can see it. it. Smells really good. Looks yummy and smells yummy. All right, we're gonna let that thing cool for a few minutes and then we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, we are out of the oven and cooled off and ready to see what this meatloaf tastes like. Let's slice into it. Now, the instructions say that it should serve eight people. It's just two of us are gonna be eating it. All right, so it's cut up. Let's get into it. can see this oh it's falling apart <laughs> it looks delish mm, smells so good still pretty warm it's all right see it smoking Mm-hmm. That cream cheese just does something to the meatloaf. I am loving this recipe. Second time I've done it, great flavor, great taste. It is definitely a rock star. Y'all have got to try this recipe. Even if you don't care for meatloaf too much, but you love jalapeno poppers like our family does, this will definitely be a hit. I know it's going to be gone real quick. I should have just went ahead and made two because this will not last this long around our house. But give it a try. See if y'all like it. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about it. 
definitely one of our family favorites. All right, guys, until next week and another video, y'all stay safe, happy eating, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.